Uh, in the background, you see the big blue building. Uh, that's our Linus facility. Construction of the Linus began in the fall of 2021. The Linus is a first of a kind in uh, our portion of the DOE facility. The Linus has um, a chamber. It's built out of uh, very thick concrete. It has two foot thick walls, three foot thick ceiling, four foot thick floor. It's able to measure the largest piece of equipment that we have on site, which is roughly 60,000 pounds of steel. And we can measure that in one measurement, one quick measurement. And it's all designed to shield external radiation. Uh, all areas um, all over the world have a certain background radiation. So what we're wanting to do is keep that radiation out of the chamber when we're measuring a piece of equipment. For example, if you look at your cell phone, you're reading a text and it's bright sunlight outside, you have to turn the brightness up on your phone. That's because of the background light. It's the same thing when you're measuring neutrons. If you have neutrons coming in from other sources, it's hard to read the small amount of neutron emission uh, from your deposit. The blue portion that you actually see is just a metal shell that encases uh, the chamber, which is the large concrete structure um, uh, that the equipment's actually measured in. There's also a control room inside the building. Also within the chamber are the detectors. They're called slab detectors and they're arranged in an order that's been modeled so that we get the highest efficiency. And efficiency is just your power to detect neutrons. So if you have high efficiency, that means you can see a small amount of neutrons. So the detectors have been modeled from the beginning to be um, especially efficient for this system. One of the uh, hard things we always deal with in the non-destructive assay is our backgrounds. So what we have to do is we want to reduce our background measurements. And what we're measuring for is neutrons, all right? So when uranium decays, it sends off a, a neutron. And so we can determine the quantity of uranium inside of pieces of equipment inside this chamber. Inside of these rectangular instruments behind me, we have helium-3 tubes. These helium-3 tubes, what they do is when a neutron hits the helium-3, it causes a reaction. And that reaction then we measure and we can count. Our accuracy is absolutely cannot be built. Our accuracy is the world class. So we got our helium-3 from the Oak Ridge Gaseous Diffusion Plant, which saved us millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. And, and it's very hard to get. The other place you can get it is on the moon, but we're not quite yet to go there and get it. And, and I'm just excited about the work crews and the whole team. It was a whole team effort. Uh, not only the engineers, the non-destructive assay folks, the, uh, the whole plant management are behind this, and it should be a world-class operation. Don't forget to like and subscribe.